how to apply for a stripe account as an international seller what is happening guys welcome back to another video in my channel so in today's video i will explain you exactly how you can have a stripe account even if you are living in a country which stripe is not available okay this is exactly what happened to me i'll ex explain you exactly what happened to me and step by step exactly what i did to have a stripe account now just before we start guys make sure you join the family hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you will be the first to know when i drop new content now another thing just quickly guys i do have a large facebook group with over 2000 active members and a telegram group private group which you can come in and join and mastermind and learn from uh, from me and have support from me and other brilliant people so make sure you join the community you join the family and start growing with us guys so without further ado let's start with a video so you want to have a stripe account okay even though you are not living in one of the countries which stripe is available you still want to have a stripe account that is uh, totally understandable because if, if you take my Shopify store, for example, 60% of the payments on, on online payments are by Stripe. Okay, our most of our payments are made by credit cards. So this is something you you must have. Okay, you must have a credit card payment processor. Now, I try to apply for different payment processors and I do know that I can apply for a, a, a company inside my country when i where i resign which is israel so i do have a few companies that i can go and apply for but i wanted to have like the, the best one the, the most known one uh, which is stripe and at least try it because also stripe was like the easiest company to apply and like different i tried different companies but they asked me so many things that i i, I couldn't even and like i didn't know what i want me to provide further uh, from the things that i already provided them so guys if you don't know who i am so let me quickly give you a background and exactly how this situation is related to me and if this exact situation will relate to you so i'm uh, right now i am living in mexico okay but on the paper i'm still resigning in israel okay my residential address is still in israel everything that i get personal mail things like that business mail is everything goes to israel so the only way that i can go and verify my home address is like i'm still living in israel but that that is not the problem the problem is that because i live in israel i cannot have a, a stripe account uh, even if i have like a israeli business i still can't have a stripe account because uh, i am from israel and my business is israeli now let's take few like around two years ago uh, when i was uh, i was still dropshipping on ebay and i wanted to start dropshipping on ebay uk but for that you need to have a vat number and blah 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 many many things now basically what happened two years ago that i i discovered that you can have um, let's say I, I wanted to have like a uk business and you can have a uk business although you are not from the uk you don't live there you never were there you can still go and you don't need even to go you do that from your computer you can you can create yourself a limited company in the uk you can do the same thing in the united states and create yourself an llc and have a business address there even though you you never were there and you never and you are not living there now why i'm telling you that is because you will be able to apply for not only stripe account so the first thing you will be able to apply for stripe account the second thing is to apply for a business bank account in that country and also a business paypal account so all those things okay and believe me that uh, i was doing e-commerce as an israeli for like many years before that like two years before i discovered that and at least even not a US a business, even a UK limited company is way, way easier to do everything online. Okay, everything you want to do online, if you have like a, a business in, uh, inside one of the biggest, largest countries 
uh, in the world it will be easier for you to apply for everything because you see you can apply for stripe for uh, business uh, paypal uh, uk account uk business bank account and many many other things which you will have benefit uh, as a uk citizen okay so first of all if you are interested about how to create a limited company it is super super simple and super cheap uh, i will link somewhere here up here or down in the description a link to a video which i explain you how to create a limited company in the uk i never done that in the states uh, because first of all it's a bit more expensive but it is also it is uh, really straightforward you have like different companies which can help you you can do that by yourself uh, but if you are interested how to do that in the uk i have a link uh, somewhere here just check it out now basically what like what what i did is i used the business information okay the business address okay when you, you re register a business you will have a, a uk address okay and the same thing applies to the us so i used that address to first we had Sh shopify payments which is powered by stripe so we started this way our store later on the way and um, we had some issues with with shopify payments so just a small thing i do not suggest you to to uh, use shopify payments because i like i did some research and shopify payments is really pain in ass and every time you will have like small ch even one chargeback or something like that they will hold most of your money and there are many many uh, cons to use shopify payments and it is powered by stripe so just go and, and use straight stripe now basically what we did is uh, i just applied to a stripe account okay you can do the same thing for shopify payments but as i said i don't recommend shopify payments at all and you will have problem and later on the way i think when you get like you, you reach a certain amount of uh, payment that processed by shopify payments or like maybe after like uh, uh, a certain time they will ask you to verify all the details like address business address business certificate things like that and your home address now there will be an issue with shopify payments when you are registered as uh, your shopify account is registered for on your business uh, address but your home address is different now legally you can you can you can do that okay because i i went and i read everything online on the uk government uh, website and the same thing applies to the us you can have businesses uh, in the uk in the us even though you never were there okay this is something 100 percent legal and i try to explain them that i do have a uk business although i'm not living there okay it is an online business and I do need to have a payment processor and I'm legally, I am uh, I'm eligible to have a payment processor in the UK, even, even, even though I'm not living there. Now try to explain them, didn't work, okay? And I don't think that, that is going to work for you because I tried to explain many, many times on emails and phones and everything. And so basically what I did, I just tried to find a different way to have a payment processor. So I, apl I, I applied for many, many companies. Like there, are, there were many companies which they are super, super expensive, way overpriced, or companies that wanted so many documents that I didn't even know, like where can I find those documents? And so, and I also tried to apply for Stripe. Luckily, it worked okay and why did did that work is is really straightforward it's really simple now don't get me wrong you will have the same issue as shopify payments that they will require from you some documents to verify your account and the main issue will be the same thing your business address is in a different country and your home address is in a diff different country but with stripe i was able to uh, have someone listen to my case and really uh, someone that is expert and a bit understands about like uk laws and in general so uh, i i had to call like many many uh, different stripe reps and luckily i found someone that really uh, a bit care about my situation and he just uh, forwarded my email to uh, an expert team because you cannot call them 
uh, that uh, reached out to me by email. I explained him the situation, gave him all the documents that I do have. And after like, I think a week or something like that, my account got verified. Still, it was super hard to explain in the situation, okay? But it is 100% legal and you are eligible to have a Stripe account if you have a company in a country which Stripe is available. So after everything uh, that I went through, we have our uh, our Stripe account. We already like uh, payments, uh, payouts are getting to our bank, uh, bank account on time. And like we processed more than 40,000 uh, US dollars in, in in sales and we didn't have any issue. And it, so far everything looks re really, really good. So this is the exact way that I did that. So I hope you took some value out of it and that will help you. So just to sum it up guys, all you need to do is to create a business in a country which Stripe is available. And that's it, you will be able to apply for Stripe you will have to explain the situation. Maybe you will actually need to, to pick up the phone and call them, but that will work for you. Guarantee that work for me, guys. And I explain you everything and hopefully uh, it is understood. So just before I finish this video, guys, again, make sure you join the groups. We have a big, big Facebook group, which is growing every single day. Okay, we have more than 2000 members already and a Telegram group which people still ask me, what is Telegram? Telegram is essentially, it is the same like uh, WhatsApp, but for me to like to have a group or message you on, on WhatsApp is I think too personal. So I do divide my personal and business life. So I do use Telegram for business and I'm way more active there and you have way more active members there. So just make sure you join the group. You don't have anything to lose just to meet great, brilliant people, guys. So I hope this video helped you guys and you have your successful Stripe account. Let me know in the comment section below if that helped you, if you have uh, more issues with exactly what I explained. And as I said, if you want to know exactly how to create a limited UK company, you have somewhere uh, here, you have a, a link. So make sure you check it out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.